Okay, so for this topic, it feels like this is appropriate. <clears throat> it's, you know, I don't know what better way to explain Excel without having my glasses on, so. I don't think I understand Excel any better, even with these on. All right, so let's talk about using Excel for inventory. First off, let me say, short of using like tick marks on a piece of paper, Excel has been one of the most standard ways starting out to keep track of inventory for a lot of businesses, but that's definitely changing. So first off with Excel, it's extremely limited in what it can do, except for those that are really well versed in Excel, which most of you probably are not. There's only so many things you can do. It is not a robust program. It's not gonna update in real time. Any changes into your inventory or system have to be manually put into that spreadsheet and be updated by you constantly. And then with that inherently, with that manual process, there's more chance every time for human error putting in the wrong number, the wrong price, the wrong cost, et cetera. And that, that's just one of the things that happens. Another big thing with Excel is it is not for the uninitiated. If you don't know anything about inventory, anything about managing, keeping track of inventory, you're gonna put a fair amount of time into starting with Excel compared to using an inventory software that already has kind of a built-in user interface and process to it that's gonna have a lot more robust features and just general options that you're gonna want in your company. And finally, Excel is not good for expanding into your company. Yes, you can kind of segment it, and I still know people that use it in their business and export part of their file in, in CSV, which is easy to change, but Excel is not meant to grow with a company for managing inventory. It might be great for keeping track of certain financials um, or other things that your company might use it for. So. Excel definitely has its place, and it's very common for some businesses to start with it, but just keep in mind, is this something you want to grow with? Is this something you want to spend your time having to learn, just that you'll have to later then change up anyways? And do you have glasses? I'm just kidding, don't ignore that. So my advice is, ditch Excel, there's better options out there. I'm James, this is Whiteboard Wednesday.